The key to unraveling the mystery surrounding the death of Debbie Collier lies in obtaining data from her cell phone, and decoding the strange Venmo message sent from her account, according to a pie. Many questions remain, and very few answers have been offered, in an investigation into the death of Collier, 59, whose partially naked, and burned remains were found at the side of A. Road, in Georgia, on September 11. The office worker was last seen shopping, at a, family dollar store, in Clayton, some 60 miles from her Athens home, at around 3 p.m. on September 10. Wearing a football jersey, and a visor, a nonchalant Collier purchased several items that would later be found near her remains, a blue top, a red tote bag, paper towels, a torch lighter, and a poncho. When she exited the store, she sat in her car for almost 10 minutes. At 3.17 p.m., a Venmo payment for $2,385 was sent from Debbie's account to her daughter Amanda Bearden, along with a strange message, which read, They are not going to let me go love you there is a key to the house in the blue flower pot by the door. Her phone was then switched off two minutes later, and Debbie was seen pulling out of the parking lot, heading south. Little is known about where Debbie headed next, and why, or why she was, in Clayton on that fateful day, in the first place. But around 40 minutes later, her car was abandoned, and left unlocked, at the side of the road along Route 15 about 13 miles away from the store. Her body would be found the following day, roughly a, third of a, mile away from the car, in a wooded area. Partially nude, burned, and still grasping onto a small tree with one of her hands. Police have not publicly identified any suspects or persons of interest in the case. But they say they believed Collier was murdered, and that her killing was deliberate and personal. Private investigator Jason Jensen spoke with the U.S. Sun to dissect some of the evidence released by police amid their ongoing investigation. For Jensen, he believes most of the mysteries in this tangled case will be unfurled when police recover Collier's final text messages and other data from her cell phone, vital evidence that law enforcement is still working to recover. I do believe that all the questions we have unanswered will be resolved once the data from the phone and cell towers is released to the police, said the veteran Utah-based Pi. The police will analyze who Debbie is talking to, texting, and communicating with. In addition to finding out why she was so far away from home, in the first place, added Jensen.